And even though much research has been done, the survival rate is not very high for lung cancer patients. In fact, there's only a 15% chance of survival. This morning, Lee Brock is at the Cancer Center in Greensboro talking with a fellow who, um, whose wife had lung cancer. Um, he lost his wife to the disease earlier this year. And Lee, you know, the most amazing thing to me from this story is that she never smoked. No, she never smoked. I think the thing that I'm guilty of, and I think a lot of people are, you think this is a smoker's disease. You think, well, you know what? Nobody deserves cancer, of course, but you think they took the risk. They smoked, but you know what? That's not the case. That's not the case a lot of times, actually. It certainly wasn't the case with your wife. This is Dan Kennedy we have with us this morning. Tell us about your wife. Well, it was, uh, it was certainly a shock to us, Lee. We we're you know, enjoying a, a family trip out of town one week, and then several weeks later, we're, we're here. Uh, looking mm -hmm. at scans that say she's being diagnosed with non-small cell lung cancer. So right. it was shocking. Uh, really, she only had a cough, uh, and it was in August, and that seemed unusual. So that led to a visit to the family doctor, and, you know, by the grace of goodness, he ordered a chest X-ray, and that showed a spot, and they treated it for pneumonia, and then that didn't seem to correct the spot, and so that led to a series of events that, uh, it was diagnosed with lung cancer and then the following treatments. Okay. What, what did you feel like when you first found out? Uh, well, it was a whirlwind of emotions. You really can't, I probably can't describe adequately what you feel, but um, uh, disbelief, shock. Um, you're sitting there enjoying a, somewhat of a normal family life, and then all of a sudden um, your, your wife, a female adult, healthy, uh, never smoked a day in her life, is being told she has lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And so that certainly goes against all the stereotypes that you hear. Um, but, but more importantly, uh, when you, you know, get involved in the treatments here and you find out uh, how many people do suffer from that devastating disease and just the sheer numbers. So it's, uh, it hasn't been a journey of just, just one. There's a journey of many. But right. for us, it was just shocking to, to, go, to go through that. Now, what is your hope in being part of this event coming up this weekend, the fundraiser? Well, um, she um, went through a series of aggressive treatments and... Uh, to say that she was determined is probably an understatement. Um, but even with the best treatments available, um, there was still, um, it wasn't enough to, 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 beat, to, beat, the, to beat the battle. So right. um, I think, um, if anything, just to increase the awareness, um, hopefully empower people to want to be a part of organizations like the Free to Breathe, uh, the National Lung Cancer Partnership, uh, because there's so many unmet needs in this devastating disease. I mean, certainly nobody deserves lung cancer. and so. If, if we can make people more aware of that um, and they uh, can uh, provide funding, important funding for treatments and, and resources, then that's a, that's a wonderful thing and it'll uh, do good things. All right. Well, thank you for telling your story today and for, just for being a part of this. And also has three kids. One of them, Matthew's having a birthday today. So <laughs> yes, we want to yes. say a special happy birthday to him. It's Veterans Day. He never has to go to school on his birthday. <laughs> that's right. You want to say happy birthday to him? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to wrap things up from here, but isn't this a horrible story, Tina? It's so scary to hear this. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where then you ask yourself, okay, what can I do to protect myself? And really the answer is not very much. Yeah, That's which um, does not sit well with most of us. All right, thanks so much, Lee. Now, um, we do want to um, tell you how you can help in this. You know, the one way we can do it is to get more money for research so we can know what we can do. If you want to help, you can join the 5K Run Walk being held this Saturday. It's the 15th. Registration starts at 7. There's a one-mile family fun run walk at 9. The 5K is at 9.30. For more information, you can check out digtry.com. Type lung cancer walk in the keyword search.